All right, let's take a look at a quick drop valve. This quick drop valve is usually mounted with these two cap screws and mounted to the base end of the lift cylinder on a dozer. So that means it's the lift cylinder base of the dozer blade that the quick drop valve is mounted to. Now the purpose of the quick drop valve is to allow the blade to come down quickly, the oil to come out of the rod end and come back into the base end rather than going back through the directional control valve through the reservoir through the pump and back into the base end. So to do that we would need to have connections to the directional control valve and we need to have connections to our cylinder. And so the ports at the back side of this quick drop valve right here are our two ports for our A and B for our directional control valve. Over here we have a passageway right here which will go to the rod end of the cylinder. And if we lift the cutaway, we, rather than just uh, flipping it over, this port right here would be connected to the base end of the cylinder. So I've got these ports labeled. So directional control valve is going to come into here or come into here. Rod end oil is going to come out this end. Base end oil is going to come out this passageway right here. So let's take a look first at the lift circuit. So we want to lift the dozer blade. So we're going to send oil from our directional control valve into this passageway. And the bro with broad strokes, let's take a look at it and then we'll add some detail. So coming from the directional control valve comes through this passageway, comes into this passage, comes out this end into the rod end of the cylinder. The base end oil then is able to come out of this cavity, come back into this port and go to the directional control valve where it'll go back to tank. Okay, so that would be the simplest way to look at it. But that leaves us with a bit of problems because we have some valving inside the quick drop valve to allow this thing to quickly drop but it will hurt us or cause a problem for us if all we're doing is trying to lift this blade. So we need to take a look at some things. The passageway that comes from the directional control valve right here and is going down to the rod has a small orifice. Actually it's fairly large but it's, an, it's a small change if you will. That orifice right here is going to create a pressure drop and that pressure drop is going to be sensed upstream from the orifice from downstream. That orifice building up pressure over here actually has the ability, there's a passageway cut into the housing that sends that oil pressure down into this back side of this spool right here. So now this built up pressure coming from the directional control valve is actually going to be responsible to hold this spool in this position. Why that's important is the oil flow is going to come through and around come into this center part and go and start lifting the cylinder. But if we didn't block off this passageway, what would happen is the pressure would act against this spool and all it would do would simply open it up and dump the rod oil into the base end and it wouldn't do anything because the base end when we're trying to lift the dozer blade is connected through the directional control valve back to tank. So we need this orifice and we need that little passageway to hold this valve in the closed state so we can actually exercise the lift function. Okay, so then what about when we want to drop? Okay, if we want to quickly drop the cylinder, so in other words, have all the oil come out of the rod end, come to the top side at the base end, because remember, a lift cylinder's cylinder, the rod faces down and the piston is up. The base end or head end of the cylinder is up towards the sky. So we want to drop this blade down quickly. So that's the whole point. So what happens, we're looking to see that when we drop this, we're going to send oil from the directional control valve into the base end. And it's going to start acting on the piston major diameter and push down. And at the same time, the oil is going to be coming out of the rod end. And because the weight of the blade is also assisting the rod end oil come out quicker, really, it's going to come out at a higher velocity because of the weight of the blade and gravity pulling it down, 
that high velocity oil is actually able to come up into this area here. It comes up around this spool. It hits again this orifice. It builds up some pressure. So it creates a pressure drop this time from this side to this side. This side's going back to the DCV, back to tank. And so the rod oil that's coming out creates a pressure buildup that opens up this valve now and allows the rod oil to enter into the basin and this is the process of regeneration or the concept of regeneration. We take the rod oil that would be wasted and we deliver it into the basin which reduces cavitation and increases the rate at which the blade can drop. But now that's all well and good when we want to drop the blade quickly but what happens when we want to power down with the blade? When we want to power down with the blade, we're going to be sending, so we're trying to lift the machine now with the blade. We don't want a connection from the base end to the rod end at this point. Now we want to build up pressure. So what's going to happen is that the oil from the directional control valve will continue to go into the base end. But because the blade is already down, the velocity of the oil coming out of the rod end will go way down. There's no big travel happening. Now we're starting to build pressure in the basin and there's a very low volume of oil moving. And since there's a low volume and low velocity, then what happens is there's very little pressure building up against the spool. And not only is that happening, the base end oil is actually able to get into this small hole right here. And that small hole is into a passageway, into a piston cavity that actually now allows this spool right here to build pressure against this spool right here and what that hole works is going to do is effectively hold this valve closed. When this valve is held closed then the rod end oil is allowed to go back through the DCV and back to tank. The base end oil is allowed then to build up pressure and actually lift up the machine by pushing the cylinders down. So we've been able to take a look then at this quick drop valve that shows that we are able to lift, we are able to drop when we send the DCV oil into the base end quickly by having the rod end oil come back, open up this valve and using the concept of regeneration, that waste oil goes into the base end. And we were able to power down or lift the front of the dozer by building pressure in the base end, allowing that pressure to come into this piston, close this valve, and allow the rod end oil to simply go back to tank and the front of the machine will lift. So these are all the modes that are enabled in the quick drop valve.